So, do I hit the record button twice for this film's title to work, or... What? <laughs> Two times the battery space. The plot. Picking up that very night the first wreck took place, a group of trained specialists head into an apartment to find out if there are any survivors. There sure are, but not in the condition you'd be expecting. Nor they, for that matter. Right off the bat, this movie wins points with me with that awesome premise. If the first Rick was like Alien, then Rick 2 is the aliens of the franchise. Bullets, blood, and badassery are all present here. It really knows how to swerve your expectations without mercy. About halfway through the movie, we focus on another group of characters, and from there, you could either try to recap and pinpoint what transpired where, or just give up. The trio of characters we start off with are kind of asses, and they stay that way. However, when shit hits the fan, you really can tell they are scared shitless and worried about each other. It might have just been me, but it felt like two of the characters just kind of disappeared. I'd have to go back and watch it again. This film is awesome, though. It gives tons of explanation about what is going on, and there's even a badass priest thrown into the mix. And the ending is seriously awesome. This film doesn't have English dubbing, but I think that really helps with your viewing experience. Now you can really hear the fear. Well, read the fear as well, because you're reading English subtitles. Dare I say it, the atmosphere in this film is darker and way more grim than the first movies. It helps that this film had a budget that was upped from the first movie, now boasting $5.6 million in US currency. Making around $18.5 million in the States, the film didn't earn quite as much, but it still made enough to keep the franchise going. The gore, the effects, headshots, blood is everywhere. This is not a teen movie by any means. The effects are top notch too. They don't hide away from the red stuff in this flick. The motion picture soundtrack, again, this is found footage, so there is no music. The sound design is stellar, however. I think it's really amped up the terror as well as the action with all the gun firing. This was a stellar sequel. It improved on a few things while it amped up on the bloodshed. It may have a possible big turnoff, that being the side characters sticking over halfway through. However, it didn't really ruin anything. As long as you're invested in Wreck 2, then the 85 minutes should blow right by. It's got tons of action and terror, so I don't know why you wouldn't be interested in this film. It would be hard not to get invested. Overall, I give Wreck 2 a 4 out of 5. I posted a poll on Killer Flex for people who wanted to pick my next movie review. I had three choices, and Wreck came out on top with 10 votes. The next picks will be on my Facebook fan page. Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Facebook and Twitter fan pages in the description below. Leave comments and subscribe.